Before God elevate you, he going to reveal to you who your enemies are. Ladies and gents, I'm a need for you all, each and every last one of y'all, all across the world, all across the USA, 50 states. <laughs> Stay tuned at the very end of the very video. As you can see, your boy got a fresh body, aka a fresh cut. So I had to look good for this video. Not to toot my own horn, but you know me. I gotta look good. <laughs> but yeah, all jokes aside, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Remember, y'all stay tuned now. But with that being said, let's get right into it. And by the way, happy Saturday. And I hope you're all doing well out there today. And remember, it's hot out there. So make sure, <laughs> drink the water. But yeah. Enough of the BS. Let's get it. Before God elevates you, he's going to reveal to you who your enemies are. Okay, here's the thing, y'all. Why you think before you get to the next level? Why do you think before you get that breakthrough, people walk away from you? People that start showing their true colors towards you. It's because God is going to take you higher than these people. God is about to show you who really envy you and who really couldn't stand your guts. You see, people out here, they can pretend. People are just good actors and good actresses. And yeah, I said that a million times, but it's true. People love to pretend, but guess what? They ain't got the script to back it up. Let me tell you how fake people can be. They can smile in your face, but the whole time, they want to take your place the whole time. They rooting for you, Tom. Oh, I hope you win. But behind your back, I hope that SOB lose. I can't stand that MF. They cursing your name, doing everything. They're claiming that they want you to win, but they really want you to lose. It's a difference. A real friend will root for you and mean it and will support you. But a fake friend, aka a snake, will sit up here and pretend to be a good actor or a good actress. I hope you win, girl. Yo, bro, I hope you win. But the whole time, they hating. And this is why when people fall off or fall away away from you, you need to let them go. Don't sit up here and try to chase after nobody. Don't sit up here and ask God and questioning God, why this person leaving? Why he or she left? Why they can't stand me? Listen, you don't need them. You never did. Who needs them when you need God? And remember, ain't nobody powerful on this earth. The only man powerful is God, so you need him. And you need him to get to this breakthrough. And get to the next level. But at the same time, you need the right people. Not these snakes. They're going to come slither in back into your life. Or these snakes that sit up here that's waiting to wrap themselves around you. Squeeze the living daylights out of you if you catch my drift. But see, when people fall off, y'all, let them go. Don't chase after them. Let them go. Period. Let them go. Stop running up the behind people. If they don't want to be in your life, let them go. Because God about to take them out of your life and replace them with real friends. You may never know who can't stand your guts. And then the, and then the moment when the trash remove himself, guess what? God finna replace you with cleaner people in your life. Because these people are toxic and dirty and filthy and stanky. Each and every last one of these low individuals is funky, toxic, stinky, and they fake. This is why people are falling off. This is why he is revealing to you who your enemies really are. This is why they say everybody can't go with you. 
And I'm pretty sure y'all were taught this back in school, middle school, high school. But, you know, in your head, you're a teenager. You're still a child. You want to have fun. But as you get older, now it starts catching up to you. And you want to, hmm, now I see what they meant now. Let's be honest. We always taught that, but in the back of our head, we be like, yeah, whatever. But at the same time, as you got older and mature, now you're starting to understand why they were schooling you about this stuff. That's why the teacher always said in school, especially my school, keep your eyes on your own paper. From elementary to high school, keep your eyes on your own paper. That's one of the most realest lessons I ever heard since I was a child. Keep your eyes on your own paper, folks. Because y'all got so many people pocket washing y'all. That's why they're so nosy. Anybody out there want to ask these personal questions is considered an enemy. Because they want to go back and tell their little South Park, their little pop-up girls, their little Beavis and Butthead headquarters crew of what you got going on. And them little dummies over there ain't got a pot to piss in. Or they ain't got a... I'm finna go ahead and say it. I don't care how it sound. They ain't got a pot to piss in. And they ain't got a toilet to set they you-know-what on. To take a you-know-what. They ain't got a pot. They ain't got a toilet. They ain't got none of that. But they all in your beeswax, though. <laughs> this is why. God is shown to you. He opened up your very eyes as we speak. He opened up your eyes right now, ladies and gentlemen, and letting you know this person is not for you. They are snake. They are narcissists. They are energy vampire. Y'all got to get away from these folks. Or better yet, when the trash take your own self out, let the trash go. Let these folks go, period. Because where you about to go, they got to sit right there on the blenches. Just like the fans that they are. And watch you ball on the court. Or watch you play ball in that field. You understand me? They hate your guts. But they want to sit up on the bleachers. And watch you play. And win. These people ain't nothing but fans. That's why they want to keep tabs on you. You entertaining them. And you not even trying. They got their eyes glued on you 24 hours a day. They sitting up here studying you, martyring you, worrying about you. Instead of worrying about their own selves. Now ain't that pathetic? That is so sad. The poor little South Park humans that they are. Kenny and all of them. You bastard! I thought I told you to watch him. You bastard! I thought I told you to watch her. And then when they can't get the job done, them and their little headquarters is arguing. And guess who is the top? Excuse me. When them little South Park and Minions can't get the job done. And they arguing back and forth. Guess who they arguing about? You. You the main topic because you know why? You in these people head constantly. That's all they think about and talk about is you. And when they can't get nothing out of you. Or when they fail to get the job done. And when they go back and tell their little headquarters. The South Park Beavis and Buttheads and pop up girls, they get the arguing, fussing, and cussing. And like I said, the main topic is about you. So don't worry about, <laughs> excuse me, don't worry about who walked out of your life or who didn't stay or who didn't keep their promise. People should not make promises that they cannot keep. Somebody talking about, oh, I'm going to stay in your life for the rest of my life. But soon God start blessing you. Them demons, them true colors start coming out. Now they're saying slick stuff under their breath. Sneak this and whatnot. And you catch on to it like, yeah, I'm cutting you off my life. You an envy hater. I mean, excuse me, that ain't sound right, but you know what I meant. They ain't but an imitate copycat. They fit with envy. They heart fit with evilness. And the tongue, they don't know how powerful that tongue can be. 
Anything they're saying about you or wishing on you can come right back to them. This is why they say it's power of the tongue. People need to be very careful of what they're saying about people. If you're that doggone jealous, not y'all, but I'm saying if they that doggone jealous of you, they need to sit down and work on their own selves. But they so filled with toxic and all this stink energy, they don't care. But the power of the tongue could get them in trouble. That's like when you say, excuse me, that's like when they say, when you sign that contract, be careful of the contract that you are signing. Because the pen is the mighty sword. I had to throw that in there. So be careful of the contract that you sign. And with these people, be careful who you surround yourself with. Because you may never know who is in low-key competition with you or who is envious of you. Like I said, people out here are good actors. But when God bid to you who your enemies are, don't question them. Don't question him. Just let it be like, all right, God, you got it. It's all in your hands. You that God handling them while you handle your business. You understand? But at the same time, love these people from a distance. Don't hate them. Don't wish bad towards them. Don't fight fire with fire. That's come to the realized fact is they was an enemy the whole time. Because like I said, the year of 2024, there's a whole lot of stuff in the come out of the closet. These people been trapped in the closet like R. Kelly. Now guess what? All of it is finna come out to the light. What's done in the dark will come to the light. All them skeletons is gonna slowly fall out of that closet. I ain't trying to make this about celebrities, but um, y'all remember back in early January, right? When Cat Wins did that interview with Club Shay Shay, and he exposed certain people. Well, guess what? These people finna end up exposing their own selves. Your enemies, your so-called friends, boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or wife, whoever it is, I won't be surprised if it happened right now and you in main stunned. Means you in main shock right now. But it's okay, because guess what? God revealed to you who they really were before he started blessing you and started taking you places. Good. Because they don't need to go with you anyway. Remember, they can't go. Oh, no, no, no. No, my friend. Snakes, clowns, and rats cannot go where God is taking you. Only winners, leaders, and champions can go with you. Because you so real, it intimidates them. It make them feel some type of way. They ain't their feelings right now. But hey, let them be mad. Let them be all in their feelings. Just thank God that he's revealing to you who your enemies really are. So when you get to the next level, when you get ready to phew, take off up out of here like Jimmy Neutron, God bless, they will not be with you. It will be you, yourself, and I. It will be me, myself, and I. But along the way, you're going to meet strangers that are going to be rooting for you. Clapping for you. Rooting for you. I'm talking about they could be rude for you. That's chatting your name. If your name Catherine, they're going to be saying, Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. If your name Charles, they could be chatting your name. Charles, Charles, Charles. You understand me? These are strangers that you haven't even met yet. And they rooting for you. Supporting you, but the main ones close to you, looking at you with these envious eyes, nose turned up, their lip turned sideways. That's pure ignorance. Like, ew, get it together. Clean your heart out, man. Sweetheart, sweetie, honey bun. Clean that wretched heart out before you try to criticize other women. Because will queens and will kings don't hate on each other. They uplift one another. You know what I mean? <laughs> but seriously though. 
Honey child, sweetheart. Stop hating on the real women. Big head Craig. Big head Tyrone. Quan Quan. Stop hating on the real kings. Get that insecurity out of your heart. Y'all tell them too. Get that insecurity out of your heart. Because it's making you look bad. And these the same very people y'all hung out with since school and after school. Some of you used to ride in a car together or go to each other's houses when you were kids, birthday parties and whatnot. Now that person became an enemy because God started blessing you and started taking you higher and higher. And that's another thing about y'all that I like. When God bless other people, y'all don't hate. Y'all congratulate them. That's why you're getting blessed the most. That's why your cup is overflowing with blessings right now. But if you ever had a hater, a so-called friend in your circle, and they revealed their true colors, it's all good. It's all great because guess what? God had to remove them so he could take you to the next level. That's all it was. So don't even worry about these people. But at the same time, they could be worried about you. Y'all finna have these people eating out the palm of your hand as I speak. Watch what I tell you now. Don't say I didn't warn you. Watch, it's coming. But watch. If God have it revealed to you who your enemies are, trust and believe me, it's coming soon. Remember, the year of 2024, a whole lot of skeletons is finna fall out the closet. All them skeletons is finna fall right out the closet. They've been trapped in the closet like all Kelly himself. Remember, what's done in the dark, it will come to the light. So don't you worry about it. You just stay focused. You stay encouraged. And most importantly, you continue to have a good heart out here. Okay? Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, ah, I love you all. No homo to the fellas. Much love to you. But to the women, love you. To my fellas, much love. But with that being said, y'all, y'all be safe out there. God bless and remember, God is about to elevate you. But before he do, he's going to show to you who your enemies really are. And when he do, don't question him. Don't say why. Don't say nothing. Just accept it and move on. And when you get to the top, it's going to be people just like you rooting for you, winning with you, and co collaborating with you. Y'all going to be working together. But be patient. It's coming. Your breakthrough is coming. But with that being said, in the words of Jimmy Neutron, got a blast. Peace, y'all.